My name is Colleen. I've been a member here at New Joy since 2003, and I'm really excited to read a story to you. I get the opportunity to read about Deborah, which is one of the ladies in the Old Testament. So this is Deborah. She's sitting under a tree. So Deborah, God's people had cap been captured by an enemy. They pray to God, please help us to get our land and freedom back. God listened and sent a woman named Deborah to help them. Deborah was a judge and was very wise and faithful to God. She gave people messages from God and asked people to talk about their arguments. Every day, Deborah sat under a palm tree. Men and women, and probably children, who had problems came to ask her for help. One day, God gave Deborah an important message, a message that would help free the people. Deborah gave God's message to a man named Barak. She told him, God said, take 10,000 men and go to Mount Tabor. God will help you defeat the king's army and your Israelites will be free. Barak said, I'll do this, but I need your help. Deborah, who was brave as she was wise, agreed to go with him. She knew that God would be with her every step along the way. Barak and Deborah took 10,000 men. That's a lot of men. Like, I can't think of what 10,000 men would look like, but I think that's a lot of men. There was an awful battle. Yelling, fighting went on, and the noise was loud and terrible. But God was always with Deborah and the Israelites, protecting them and keeping them safe. It was a hard fight, but finally, Barak and the Israelites and Deborah won. God helped them defeat the king's army, and there was peace for 40 years. The question is, how do you think Deborah felt when she got a message from God to give to her people? I think if God asked me to tell people something, I might be a little scared that God was talking to me, but that I had to tell other people. And what would they think about me saying that God told me that? But I'm awfully glad there was such a strong woman that was told about in the Bible. And that's the story of Deborah.